Hi guys, welcome to another Transformers um, toy review. This time, um, well, it's kind of a haul review really. I'm having a look at all the stuff that I picked up over at uh, TFCon in Chicago, uh, which was the end of October. Um, obviously this has taken a little while to um, get to you. I've been a little bit disorganised in terms of sorting stuff out. Um, I had a bit of a switch round in sort of display room so moving stuff around and haven't put any of this lot on display yet so i thought i'd give you a quick look at some of the stuff that i picked up uh, what i'll try and do is a lot of it isn't showing on camera so i'm going to kind of go through it kind of figure by figure and try and clear the room and then hopefully afterwards i can get it all on display um lots of different different bits and pieces that i picked up along the way so um I'll start off with some G1 bits and pieces. So I picked up a, a beach Um He's he's alright. He's not in great condition. There's bits, you know, like all this can just be kind of tidied up. But he's not too bad. Um, doesn't help that he's been sat in the garage really, but uh, he's alright. He did come with a his kind of bio card and whatnot. Hopefully his legs do transform okay. But yeah, he's got a beach camera there. Uh, along the same themes, I picked up a, a wheelie. Uh, he's a rubbish toy, but it's you know it's a, a good you know another figure to sort of pick up. Um, and he was cheap, so I managed to get a hold of this guy. This this bit's not in in great condition, but he looks alright in vehicle mode if you sort of look at him from a distance. Um, what other bits? I've got some Action Master guys and um, I've been trying to get as many as I can of these and try and improve the collection that I've got. So I picked up a Bumblebee. He doesn't come with his gun or his accessory. However, I do have his backpack anyway. Um, so I'll be adding that and putting him on display. He's quite cool. He's got quite a, got a large head for Bumblebee. So it's a little bit out of proportion. So we've got that, this guy here, um, and then with that we've got um, Kickoff. Now this guy is complete and he's in great condition. All the joints, uh, paintwork, and everything. He's almost brand new. Uh, even the sticker on the front here is in really good nick. Comes with his gun and his backpack here as well. So uh, very pleased with that. And also as well, I picked up uh, Axa, who's a Decepticon. Um, I've got this guy just the figure a couple of times already but um, his joints are in slightly better condition and the paintwork's pretty decent on him. Comes with his weapon and of course his bike which you can go on and this is complete as far as I can see. Comes with the two missiles here and the seat and everything else like that and the stick is a fairly good nick and from what I remember there should be a little button or something on here. These bits I might save that for a review actually potentially um, if people want to see that anyway. Uh, let us know in the comments below if there's any of this stuff as I'm going through you think uh, you want to see a review of that you haven't seen before. Um, what else? Um, so I've got this this guy. Um, I already got him but he was actually, I think he was in one of the other pretender shells which I'll show you at the back here so I'll probably get rid of this one at some point. So I picked up a few um, shells that I haven't got, which are quite hard to get hold of. And they're not in brilliant condition, but still got Iguanas here. So I thought, you know, that'll do as a, you know, placeholder until I pick up a, a better one. It doesn't come with um, a figure inside. You can see it's some sort of, I um, don't know quite what that is inside there, but uh, it's not too bad. Probably needs a, a bit of a clean up on this one. But uh, still very cool, and I've never had this one, so I wanted to pick up that guy. Uh, Finback as well at the back here, uh, and I got him as well. And I managed to pick up these pretenders at a fairly decent price. It doesn't come with his belt, unfortunately, um, or his inner pretender shell. Um, this bit here can do with a bit of a clean up, so I'll probably get like a toothbrush or something just to clean that up. But um, other than that, you know, you'll look all right on display. This is a 
another pretender and I got this guy as well he's a, an order bot I believe I can't remember what his name is um, but again not complete doesn't come with the pretender inside but it was fairly cheap so I, I thought I'd pick it up anyway just to stick it on display uh, moving on a bit let's see what else we've got um, I'm sure I picked up more of these but uh, one of the little kind of mini con combiner ones so I've got him and uh, I think I've got another one here somewhere a few other bits and pieces picked up one of these G.I. Joe Transformers G.I. Joe crossover blind bag key ring so I've got Bumblebee one it's kind of looks like it's got kind of weird makeup on so got that um, one of these um, Target Masters which is like a third party one they had these blind bags um, of these so I picked up one of these guys they're quite cool um, they are sort of articulated and whatnot probably could do with a splash of paint so I might customize this one slightly picked up a load of these badges and they're all like from comics so you've got He-Man, Galvatron one, uh, Grimlock, uh, in, uh, Bombshell, Ultra Magnus and G.I.J. Bat one there as well so I've got all of those what other bits did I pick up? I picked up at McDonald's Jetstorm. So, um, yeah, I mean, I've got quite a few of these ones, but it was one that I was missing, so I thought I'd pick this guy up. Um, and he just pretty much transforms like that or something along those lines. He's actually not bad for a McDonald's toy. And he rotates around these bits move up and down and even the head rotates around there's a fair bit of paint on him as well so that's him um i picked up a couple of creos um so one of the technobots and also one of the c cons as well they were obviously in blind bags as well um I picked up one of the TFCon exclusive ones, the I think it's Aero Alpha one. Um, so this is the the one that comes with the blue cape, blue and yellow cape, which I'll be doing a review of. Um, uh, interiors Aero Alpha. So that bit a better look of him in his kind of robot mode there, and he obviously comes with the little swords and bits and pieces. That's him. So put him to one side. And what else have we got? Oh, another TFCon exclusive thing. I picked up uh, this guy here. Uh, this is one of the fans projects. Uh, fans projects. Uh, Stunticons. So this is uh, their drag strip. Um, in black I do really like these guys but they are ever so small um, so I'm not sure if I'm I'm gonna go and get the line or not or I might just stop at this one and, and sell this guy perhaps because I've already got all the Hasbro ones so I'm not really sure if I need another set however they do look fantastic in vehicle mode so um, I'm not sure we'll, we'll see on that one so I'll just pop them off to one side I picked up this um, transform as well this Decepticon one I've not seen it before it's one of the ones that where you use the kind of cyber keys here to sort of unlock this and this kind of opens up as a and here you put missiles in here and whatnot but um it's like Decepticon female speedboat transformer <laughs> uh, it's pretty cool it looks fantastic in uh, vehicle mode it does transform okay as well into a fairly decent looking robot um, as you expect all this bits kind of on the back here but it, it's still pretty good so I'll pop that off to one side we're slowly getting there aren't we um we've got uh one of these i can't remember what they're actually called um but basically they you get they're all like blind boxes 
and you pull this up just to transform it like that. So transform the leg bit, do it again, transform the tank, ray bar, and so on. And you can get, there's like obviously Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, all those kind of guys um, included in it. Move this just up. Ugh. See, too much stuff on the table there. The camera went flying. Luckily I managed to catch it okay. And uh, what else have we got? A few Botcom pieces. So on the last day there was a... Um, what's the name of the guy that does the Transformers Club? Pete. Pete Sinclair. Um, he had a stall there and um, he was selling a lot of Botcom stuff. So I picked up loads and they were really good prices. So I picked up uh, this guy here, who basically is the same old as this uh, Skywarp here. So I picked up those two, and they were something ridiculous, like um, five or ten dollars each at that point. Got Hoist here as well, and he's pretty cool looking. Um, I got um, this guy. I can't remember. What his name is, his name is... Oh, uh, on this one they call him Pirate Hunter, uh, but he's the kind of sh sh Shakarak, well, whatever his name is, from uh, kind of the Beast Wars Botcon one, he's a repaint of Rampage. So you get that. By the way, that Speedboat one is from the Cybertron line, and her name is Thunderblast. The little Autobot that I had, the yellow one, that's Hotspot. Um, it's Beachcomber's little bio thing there as well. Uh, what else have we got in here? I uh, picked up, just while I'm going through it, a bunch of... I've got this Amazon Prime sticker. Again from the Collector's Club, I've got this little magazine. And then a bunch of the Timelines magazines. So the animated one. Now uh, Wings of Honor. This one here, which is kind of like the kind of G2 one. And this one here as well, which is the first issue as well. So I've got all of those, picked those up, uh, and they were fairly reasonably priced. Um, this is what the combiner looks like, of the Transformers Universe one. Um, and I'm sure I picked up more than one, but I can't remember. Here is the, the fans project one here. You see what he would look like in his combined mode. So yeah, I am kind of tempted by that, just for what he looks like combined mode. And here's what um, Thunderblast looks like in her robot mode. Still pretty good looking, I believe. So slowly getting through this all. Uh, this is another fans project one. This is their um, one of their their core ones and forget what the name of this guy was Warbots Instructor Core Limited Edition version um, this, I've got a few of his weapons other bits and pieces so he's got this like fuel pipe that attaches onto here and links around um, he's got this um, one of the cores actually in here that's obviously transformed into a little robot um, so you can have that out, and the actual piece that is supposed to be in there is this piece here. And you can obviously swap them out how you see fit. Um, it's pretty cool. He's got loads of this kind of battle damage custom paint on him, which makes him look absolutely great. I'm just not sure whether or not to have him as an Autobot or a Decepticon. I guess with the colours, you're leaning more towards Autobot. Um, with the kind of grapple-esque colours. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Do you think he should be an Autobot or a Decepticon? Um, then moving further back, we've got a Transmetal Rat Trap here. Um, so I've 
I, I picked this guy up couldn't remember if I had this version the orange version but I do already so I'm going to be selling this guy unfortunately um, this guy here which I think his name is Megaplex who's kind of a repaint of Skyquake I think and basically the idea of M Bing is that he's a, a Megatron clone so um, yeah he's a uh, pretty cool might do a review of him also as well. Uh, we're nearly there. And this Turtles piece here, which is basically a splint that transforms into one of the party wagons. And he was only like 15 bucks. And, it, you know, I just thought it seemed like a, a really good deal uh, I picked up for a friend. So I thought, you know, it's a decent sort of Christmas present. So hopefully they'll like that. Um, this is was given to me by my uh, best friend that we I went with, uh, Paul, and um, he basically didn't have room to pack it. He was going to leave it behind. And I said, "Oh, I'll leave it with me. I'll see if I can do a custom on it." So I will be doing a custom on it. I'm just not sure what I'm going to be doing as yet. So um, yeah, stay tuned for that. Uh, and at the back here, one of the best pieces that I picked up, and I've been after for ages, is Transformers Botcon RC. Um, I have taken her out and messed about with her in there. She's, she's um, a repaint of the Transmetal Black Arachnia in RC colours. Um, it does come with this... Um, this was in it, attached. I believe it's the voice chip, um, which is supposed to be activated by daylight which has got some voice recordings of the uh, voice actor now I don't know if you can open this up and put a new battery in it to make it play I'm certainly I'm gonna have a go at it it's obviously not working at the moment uh, and you can see open it up get some cool bits and pieces here come around to the back and you do get a bio and everything on there as well so I suspect that is one that I will do a review of at some point if people are interested. Uh, just a few bits left to do, which are kind of out of shot, so I'll try and bring them in. But we're pretty much there now. So I picked up again this Beast Wars thing, um, and you know, I'm, a, I'm always sort of up for picking up odd pieces of Beast Wars stuff. This from Japan is just like a little pinball machine. So I picked that up it's in its packaging. I'm not sure if I'll take it out and mess about with it or not. Or just have it on display as it is. So we've got another piece here. We've got all these Energon cubes. And these were from Captured Prey. And you've got different ones. So you've got ones like these where they're crushed down. And ones like that where it's like a full Energon cube. And one where there's kind of supposed to be stuff spilling around in it. Um, so you've got six all together, so they're good. And I picked up these display stands, and they're from Iron Factory. So I need to test these out because they were on sale. They're about five dollars, I think. So I picked up one just seeing if I could use it. If it could be used with a uh, kind of deluxe size figure or not. So I need to try that out to see if it can be used or not. And I picked up these guys as spares because they were only, I think they were $5 or something at some point. And basically I've just swapped their heads around just to show, illustrate really how simple it is to kind of customise these figures and make them look different just by swapping over some parts. I think I will repaint these and make them into new figures. Um, I think I might do like a blue and red deco on here just because the red on his face looks really good with this one so I might do that um, I'm not sure if I do like a Carnivac thing with Weird Wolf I'm not sure I'll do something like that um, but um, uh, here we've got the obviously instructions with RC as well and she's got the kind of red decoder thing which goes over the tech spec as well but um, that's it for now guys um, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time bye bye for now